Quels sont les éléments qui, dans la biodiversité, biodiversité sont plus importants que les plantes En gros, le vivant se divise en deux pièces. Nous devons savoir que le royaume des vivants se divise en deux pièces les eucaryotes, les animaux, les plantes, les animaux, 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 les anim
in the little uh, trapezoidal box uh, carried by three types of vectors in purple, green, and blue, but only one of the vectors will finally infect man, contaminate man, because man uh, is uh, close to the uh, vector, the bug or animal transporting the bacteria, and because the vector is an element that will keep the, ba the bacterial agent alive. The other two will either kill the pathogen or have no contact with the uh, human being who is the final target. When the number of vectors uh, decreases, there is what we call the decoy effect or dilution effect. The bacteria will be uh, transported by a single vector. The other two vectors will not receive bacteria anymore. So the one vector that is dangerous is the one with whom man interacts and that will be the only active vector capable of triggering an infection. The decoy effect raises a number of scientific problems, some of which have not yet been solved. There are many examples such as the Lyme disease, the bacteria carried by uh, mice or opossums, and because opossums tend to disappear, mice are more often uh, infected by the ticks carrying the bacteria, and uh, disappearance uh, of the mice will increase uh, contamination of men. The same happens with some uh, viral bacterial diseases such as Bartolino's uh, bacterial disease uh, transmitted by by a cat's claws. One last element, biodiversity of multicellular beings, uh, which has an influence on health. We have here an issue of indicators. There was a very nice study made by her Finnish uh, team showing that there is a connection between the territory where we live and allergic susceptibility which is called in English atopia, the, someone's capacity to develop an allergic disease such as asthma on some skin diseases of uh, allergic origin. The work looked, depending on the territory occupied, uh, town or meadows or fields or forests, and the work looked at the diversity of uh, multicellular elements, such as a flower plant, and diversity of uh, a single cell material element uh, present on the surface of the skin. And there is a strong uh, relationship between these four elements. When Once we know the diversity of multicellular being organisms, we can predict the atopic capacity Atopy, atopia does not only depend on environmental elements, but the environmental elements which uh, are at the origin of atopia are predictive with this kind of pattern, predictable with this kind of pattern.